We are on. Good evening, guys. Uh, thank you, thank you very, very much for joining us. Uh, my name is Dr. Silverman. I practice pathology. Uh, this is my home, and you can see uh, there is a little uh, friend of mine, which is called a microscope. So um, now we are. So yes, I do practice pathology, and uh, I like it very much. By my trade, I diagnose cancers. Um, I probably can show you that some of it is uh, right here. So this is my homework after the presentation. So um, lots of stuff to be done. So diagnosing cancers is not a legacy. Diagnosing cancers is a power. I am a very, very powerful physician, and Dr. McGee can probably uh, agree with me, because upon my diagnosis, not upon her diagnosis, upon my diagnosis, the uh, clinicians are going to treat the patients. I'm the one who send the patients into chemotherapy world, or radiation chambers and stuff, so... Um, uh, that's why I do have a passion. The passion is to spread the word of health. And as you hear today from the lecture, it's not just a supplementation. We're not going to talk about the magic bullet. We're going to go, we're going to talk about concepts. Uh, that's why I think we are so excited to be a part of Life Vantage because we do address a medical breakthrough concept and I am so blessed and I'm so lucky uh, to be joined today by my partner in crime, by incomparable uh, Dr. Sean McKee and medical doctor, um, a full specialist, a neuroradiologist, uh, probably an interventional neuroradiologist. Um, but again, the same story. Uh, the, her uh, power is to diagnose uh, brain disorders, but her legacy is to spread health. So Dr. Sean McKee, well, you guys, you need to understand this. Uh, this is not just selling supplements or something. Dr. Sean McKee, who is also married to a physician, a very, very successful uh, gastroenterologist, she is a health promoter. Not only she actually creates her own uh, nutraceuticals and supplements, but she teaches them. She uh, has a health clinic, but pardon my language, she's also crazy because she's an Ironman triathlete. And if somebody can explain to me how people enjoy doing a triathlon, uh, probably I will change. So bottom line, <laughs> sorry, Sean, I just had to. Uh, eight o'clock, my brain gets disinhibited, but in a complete admiration to, uh, to what you do and why you are basically a part of Life Vantage, so am I. The appreciation what we have is tremendous, and hopefully that's what we're going to cover today. So, guys, uh, let's talk. Today is a very, very important lecture. I get inspired by health books that I read or healthy papers that I read. And yes, we are going to talk about genes. And we're going to talk about nutrigenomics. And guess what? It's all about either dirty genes or about clean genes. Our genome, our DNA profile is about 20,000 genes. Only 2% are embedded or what is called coded. 98% are for grabs. That's why we're going to talk about clean genes or we're going to talk about dirty genes or how to clean our dirty genes. And that's why Life Vantage has that incredible power how we do it. So this is the cell turning from a good cell into bad cell through a pattern through accumulation of different garbage, and in a cell perspective, that garbage is basically a multitude of different toxins or a different um, uh, physical substances, let's say 
uh, the missing of electrons or acquiring some uh, additional bad and toxic stuff, building free radicals. And what happens with free radicals? Free radicals, they destroy or damage the cells. And that's what we're going to discuss. Disease, or if you look at this, it's a dis-ease. And this is, is, it's either we cannot defend ourselves or we're accumulating a whole bunch of environmental garbage and we cannot mount to clean up this garbage with a different, different varieties. And that is exactly what going to apply to our gene. We're talking about nutrigenomics or we're talking about epigenomics. Epigenomics is modifying our gene in adverse way. Nutrigenomics is changing, modifying our genes into positive way, getting them back to exactly what we were born with and we were born with, we were born perfect. Don't you agree? The newborns are absolutely perfect with incredible genome, right? Absolutely. And then, see guys, that's exactly the excitement, that, that cellular, cellular garbage or cellular dirtiness, when the cells are dirty, they become toxic. And when they become dysfunctional, when they become dysfunctional, it creates a problem which is called chronicity. Free radical damage, electrophilic, or oxyphilic stress or biochemical cellular stress leads to every major chronic disease as you see on this slide. So, look at this slide. That is exactly what inflammation does. That's what, in, so the, why are we so excited in life vantage? Why? Well, because guys, we have a handle on inflammation. We don't treat cure medical disease, but you cannot define the cellular biochemical processes. And if we turn those biochemical processes into exactly the way they're supposed to be turned on, that bucket is not going to be spilled. First of all, that bucket is going to be empty. That's the whole idea. That's the excitement behind it. And we are absolutely supported by science. So oxidative stress or free radical damage. So here are the reasons. So it's either it's just externally and internally too much. So any kind of stress outside environmental stress, whether it's emotional stress, microenvironment stress, work-related stress, financial stress, it is external stress. Internal stress, let's say, keep on eating garbage foods. Keep on eating garbage foods or chronic inflammation, for example, of every variety is going to cause internal stress. So how do we deal with this? We deal with this either, again, from the outside, from, let's say, good foods and other stuff, or we are applying our defense apparatus, what is inside, what is embedded and built inside, programmed inside. And if all this amalgamation fails, if our defense apparatus fails, it's going to lead to disease. So that's why we need to break that circle. The good guys have to win. So now let's talk about the flagship. You know, this Despite, despite that we decided that, let's say, I'm going to cover NRF2, I'm going to ask Dr. Sean McKee to talk a little bit about Pratanum and her excitement, why? Oh my goodness. Well, for me, I was looking for something that went upstream of everything that was going wrong with my particular body after I hit age 43 or whatever. And But basically, everyone that I was seeing that was coming down with these these conditions that as in medical school I saw in people that were decades older. Like when, when we were in medical school, we didn't see people with breast cancer, colon cancer until they were in their 40s, 50s, 60s. Um, and then as, as, you know, just 20 short years later, I'm seeing people with these diagnoses in their 20s and 30s. And I knew something was happening upstream and I, you know, kind of felt like it was 
maybe the toxic world that we live in, there's more sugar and everything. There's more, um, you know, chemicals being used in our foods, more plasticizing, more radiation, etc. But for me, I was looking for this, this unifying factor. I had been reading on my own, trying to kind of solve my own issues with inflammation, things that were going wrong. You know, my, my hormones and levels weren't what they were supposed to be. I was more tired than I wanted to be. Um, you know, things just didn't work the way that, in my opinion, they should have. And I was reading on my own, you know, medical journals and um, nutrition journals and, you know, anecdotally hearing people talking about this superfood and this great supplement, this mineral that we needed in this, um, you know, ginkgo biloba and ginseng and all these great herbs. And I would gradually just start adding them to my regimen to the point where I was taking 28 pills a day and I hated it. I hated unscrewing that many bottles and swallowing that many pills. It was just, it was onerous for me in the morning to do that before starting my day. And um, I actually was seeing a, a natural, not a naturopathic doctor, but an osteopathic uh, doctor that specializes in, in um, nutrigenomics, not, or she really wasn't nutrigenomics, but nutraceutical support of hormones and um, regulation. She really, her, her famous quote that she likes to say is she loves to give hormones to women. Well, you know, I didn't need um, specific hormones, but I did need, my body needed support. And for six months, I went to see her taking all these pills and I hated it. And that's when she told me about Protanum. And I'm like, that's it. That's but Eureka. That's what I've been looking for. I wish, you know, I didn't discover it, but I kind of discovered it in my life. Um, because she told me it was the one product that's clinically proven to reduce oxidative stress 40% on average in 30 days and everyone who took it. Well, when she said oxidative stress, a light bulb went off because my coach called me the oxidizer because you're right. I am crazy. I would go to a CrossFit class, you know, make sure I was the one that did the most wall balls or the most whatever and, uh, got my name on the board. And then I would go run for an hour and a half or two hours. Um, because I, you know, love to exercise. I love to keep myself fit. But when my coach called me the oxidizer, it made me take pause because I know oxidation is not a good thing, right? You leave a bicycle out in the rain and rusts and, you know, the cop, the beautiful shiny copper roof turns kind of dull and green, which is kind of cool, but it's oxidized. And, you know, an apple, when you cut it, turns brown. And if we can slow that oxidation down, the rate of oxidation by almost half in 30 days, that's a huge deal. And that is exactly what I was looking for when she said those words to me. I knew I was going to take it for the rest of my life. And I was actually going to force feed it to everyone in my family. Well, my husband, but <laughs> my dog, I used to have to force feed it to him. But now he, he takes the doggy version and he actually begs for it. And my husband actually understood what it was doing for him. And in a, in a little uh, short period of time, he was... He was, you know, taking it on his own. I don't ever have to remind him anymore because, um, you know, he he really recognizes what what reducing oxidative stress has meant for him, and he will not never not take it. And and the same I can say for myself: as long as they're making it, I'm taking it. This is amazing. Thank you. And you see, uh, um, so Dr. McKee was telling uh, telling us about Precandum. And she was telling us about the, that this supplement reduces free radical damage by 40% in 30 days. Um, now, look at the simplicity of it. You know, this simplicity is based on only five ingredients. Look, turmeric extract, green tea extract, bacopa extract, milk thistle extract, and purified form of ashwagandha. And people keep asking about the side effects and the contraindication, but guys, the virtue of Prakandam is, why does it work so well? Because of that specific, synergistic, magical combination of very, very small concentrations. It is proven that for that cellular upregulation, you do not need high dosages. You actually need low dosages to upregulate your cell and bring your cell to health to the maximum. So the beauty of Pratanum is that the combination of these five herbs in very small but synergistic combination that upregulates the antioxidants production. How do we negate free radicals? And how do we bring cells to health? By cleaning the cells, upregulating this, killing free radicals by antioxidants. And we will talk about a little bit of a food 
and our production of antioxidants. So Pratandam upregulates our production of antioxidants by 1800%, 1800 times synergistically, as opposed to one ingredient each. Now, A, what is important for us as clinicians that it is safe, correct? Let's say for us crazies, like let's say me and Dr. McGee, who, who are very heavy duty into health and cleanliness. When I go to the farmer's market and I take a fruit or a veg, I ask how clean it is, and I don't mean how washed. No, I mean that it, is, it doesn't have chemicals, it doesn't have pesticides, it doesn't have all the garbage, which is exactly what Pratanum is. It is certified by National Sanitation Foundation to be clean of over 500 toxic substances, chemical substances. And it is, it is standby, approved by six US and five international patents. And few of those patents are specifically on reduction of chronic inflammation. And it is also approved for professional athletes use. Now, how does it work? What is the whole thing about? Well, the whole thing is about this thing. I will talk about glutathione a little bit a little bit later to summarize, but when I told you that pratandum activates our antioxidants, well, mind you, it is critically important. One antioxidant stands up, and the name of this antioxidant is glutathione. Glutathione is the master antioxidant of every cell in the body. I'm going to repeat it. Glutathione is the master antioxidant of every cell. Now, the cells that are critically important for glutathione are, and Dr. McKee knows it more than anyone else because she's a neuroradiologist, brain. If glutathione is not up to snuff in the brain, we have serious problems. Uh, let's apply it to diseases. It's a chronic brain acute and chronic brain injury multiple concussions and post-concussion syndrome, uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome, acute brain injury, uh, neurodegenerative disorder, so brain. The second major organ that glutathione is absolutely critical is liver. Liver is our um, garburator. Liver is our detoxification factory. If glutathione is not up to snuff, bad things happening. Third organ, it's hard. And of course, let's say Olympic Games are on, skeletal muscle. And then I'll summarize it later. But how is it happening? It's happening through this guy. Now I'm going to employ Dr. McGee again. What is NRF2, Dr. McGee? It's a lot of words strung together. It's the master regulator of the body's cytoprotective response. So when it's active, it's constantly out there sensing, almost like a thermostat, sensing for cellular stress. When it detects cellular stress, it basically separates um, from its, its place of watching, like its watchtower in the cytoplasm, and it goes into the nucleus of the cell, and it encodes for hundreds of genes that when they're transcribed into proteins and enzymes, are incredibly protective. Uh, one of them is glutathione, as you mentioned. It's responsible for phase one, phase two, liver detoxification, um, hydration, I mean, hydrolysis. Like it basically impacts your body's ability to take out the trash. Glutathione is kind of the most important antioxidant um, in the body, and it takes it detoxifies it through phase one and phase two liver detoxification pathway so your body can expel it. It increases other um, antioxidant enzymes like hemoxygenase, um, catalase, which turns peroxide into you know, water and basically catalase deficiency is why, why we get gray hair. Um, it increases superoxide dismutase, which neutralizes a million free radicals per second second after second versus you know vitamin c or vitamin e which just neutralize one free radical and then you pee it out as a complex um, can, you so re can you please repeat that i want people to understand the significance of that what you just said well your own antioxidant enzyme superoxide dismutase is is a catalyst it's not used up into in the equation of neutralizing free radicals it just it turns a million free radicals neutralizes them 
every second and it stays there and does the same thing over and over and over and over again until it's you know basically destroyed because it you know, dies of old age through apoptosis so for 12 days it neutralizes a million free radicals per second and then it's replaced with another superoxide dismutase molecule and you're making more of those when you take nrf2 activation or when you activate your nrf2 pathway through through proteandum um, other things do activate your nrf2 pathway but right now on this earth proteanum nrf2 is the most potent activator of this protective pathway that we know about and it does so in a way that um, the normal cells are just turned on to protect themselves. And it, it actually, you know, in one of the studies that Dr. McCord a long time ago reviewed, it was about one uh, another NERF2 activator that's, again, 1 18th as powerful as proteinum in terms turning on the good guys. Um, he showed that in that study, it, it actually turned on the body's ability to protect the normal cells, but it made, you know, bad cells more susceptible to to being killed through you know radiation or what whatever you know chemo chemo it actually called the it called it uh, chemo sensitizing um, the bad cells and it protected the good cells so it's a it's a beautifully uh, intelligent pathway that our body has to to just watch out for stress turn on the body's protection ability absolutely thank you so much guys uh, look at this thing so pratyandam is an NRF2 activator. And as you see on the slide, NRF2 is a master regulator of detoxification. And something that can be the most important therapeutic and extraordinary preventative breakthrough in the history of medicine. And just Dr. Mickey just pointed to you that that master regulator upregulates master antioxidants of the cells. That is why, you know, we are so excited. We are so ecstatic about this natural product because nothing else does it. Now, the thing is, oxidative stress reduces, minimizes glutathione production, period. And let me tell you one thing. Glutathione supplements or glutathione pills do not work. We can only upregulate glutathione by ourselves. Eating right, having precursors of building blocks to that master antioxidant and upregulating the gene. There's nothing else that, let's say, I'm aware through the literature that upregulates glutathione three to four times between 300 and 400% like Pratandam does. This is seriously important because uh, the best, the best glutathione supplements, the most important, import, the most expensive on the market, they will increase your glutathione by 15%, pretend by three to 400%. Intravenous injection of glutathione increases glutathione by 60%. How many of you want to have everyday IV pokes? So, so yeah, so you know, I'm sort of, you know, I'm so excited today. The lecture is somewhat dedicated to glutathione. Now, look at this. I'm just going to flash the slides because NRF2, free radical reduction, and neurodegenerative disorders, Alzheimer's disease. Again, glutathione is decreased in Alzheimer's. Glutathione is decreased in multiple sclerosis. Now, I just had a, a training session, and we had Kim LaChapelle who told us about her story and multiple sclerosis. It's an amazing story. Now, a life vantage, I mean, if you go on PubMed, and I encourage you, if you do some research, please don't Google stuff. You know, you can Google stuff for, let's say, uh, Olympic scores. But if you want some information, medical information, it has to be legit. Go to the National Institute of Health database, uh, pubmed.gov, and look up oxidative stress multiple sclerosis, NRF2 and multiple sclerosis, and pretendum and multiple sclerosis. And you will come up with two studies. One is a basically therapeutic study that tells you that nutraceutical pretendum is better than pharmaceutical drug tech with no side effects. 
But the second study is a preventative study. What is the problem of multiple sclerosis? The problem of multiple sclerosis is there is no shield, conductive shield, it is lost. There are gaps. So the, the conductivity is broken. And the cells that are responsible for this production of that myelin layer or that shield, they are called, forgive me for this, terminology oligodendrocytes. So these cells are very subjective to free radical damage. Well, guess what? Protandum pre protects from that, that free radical damage, protective, protecting this oligodendrocytes from myelin sheath destruction. Okay, so that's how important it is. Okay, let's go, okay, from free radical damage in the accumulated in the cells into what free radical damage does to some major organelles in the cells and the importance of these organelles. So we have a new kid in the block, which is called NRF1 protandum. We are NRFs. We are NRF families. Uh, so we were talking to you about uh, master regulator NRF2. Now let's talk about NRF1. And let's talk about mitochondria. So guys, so here's the deal. Dirty cells, bad stuff. Dysfunctional mitochondria, even worse. Because mitochondria holds the key to the cellular health. Now, mitochondria is that organelle that gives us energy. So when Dr. McGee started having problems after running forever and doing some other exercise, she realized, I would say, right, Sean, that your mitochondria was not to the snuff, up to the snuff. I had no energy. <laughs> uh, would, I, would, I, would I ask, did you have a brain fog? I did. I would walk, I would lose my keys and my purse on a daily basis. It was terrible. <laughs> with, with this said, with this said, not only mitochondria is responsible, for, and I can tie it up because free radical damage leads to glutathione dysfunction or not enough glutathione. Not enough glutathione affects mitochondria. Bad mitochondria also decreases glutathione. And now bad mitochondria, it's not just a bad, not enough energy, but bad mitochondria causes the, um, the lapse in the cellular defense. Bad mitochondria can lead to cancer because mitochondria holds the key to our genes. That is the importance of it. Now, uh, look at this. Now, I am so excited about our NRF1 pretendum. What does NRF1 pretendum do? Every cell that we're born with has a certain number of mitochondria. And we have the ability to make the new ones. So NRF1 signals our genes to make new mitochondria. Now, the importance is this is the study that got my blood uh, sort of, you know, boiling because when we are chronically inflamed, when we're diseased, when we have bad mitochondria, are we going to take care of it? Yes. A, we need to clean the free radical damage. B, we need to make the new ones because look at this. Because the new ones can get into the old ones and fix it. You see? That's the importance. Now, so, tying up things. Let's talk a little bit about Parkinson's disease, neurodegenerative disorder. Bless you. Sorry. The origin of the Parkinson's disease is threefold. It is A, free radical damage, oxidative stress. B, right here, B, it's a bad mitochondria. You see, this came from a very reputable Parkinson's disease review, one of the latest reviews, I think, from 2018. Um, I can quote, I need to find the, 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 the title of the study. And C, Parkinson's disease is the microgut deficiency. Well, guess what? Why are we so excited in life vantage? This is to what I said. Now, this is another thing that gets me going, is the autism. 
Guys, look, 50 to 80% of children have mitochondrial dysfunction. And oh, please, I will encourage you to go on PubMed and just do a simple search. Autism and oxidative stress or free radical damage. It's all related. I will also encourage you to go online and look up autistic spectrum disorder and micro gut deficiency and start, start, you know, tying up the knots. Now, so this is basically what I was telling you. So here's the summary. Again, I told you that today I'm extremely excited about tying everything into glutathione to master antioxidant of the cells. Why do we need pretandum NRF2? Why do we need pretandum NRF1? And then later on, Dr. McKee is going to talk to us about our amazing probiotic because all of those threes are going to upregulate my master antioxidant. And if my master antioxidant is upregulated, guess what? Again and again and again, my liver is going to function. And my liver is going to detoxify the whole body. My brain is going to function and I can function. You know, my, you know it's going to upregulate my anti-aging, amongst other things. Now, the interesting thing about glutathione is you know, this is the slide. Eat your fruits and vegetables, eat your oily fish, eat your nutrient-dense foods, and all of these beautiful things carry vitamins. Our famous C's and A's and E's, and guess what? When they clean the free radicals, they need to be recovered. Well, guess what recovers them? Glutathione recovers them, A, and also glutathione carries them. But why do we need, uh, and we need healthy antioxidant and foods because, let's say vitamin Bs. Bs that we get from foods are going to infer, enforce our glutathione. That's why we never teach supplements, only we teach the lifestyle. And again, look at this hose. That is exactly what Dr. Mickey told you. And we're after activation because our famous super excited dismutase, one million free radicals per second every second. Okay, so this is a summary. Okay, Dr. McGee, it's all yours now. All right. Uh, let me get back to the slides where you are trying to find my... We are talking about probiome. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm just trying to find the Zoom thing. I've, it's got hidden in... Anyway, well, we'll talk about the probiome. I can't see the slides for some strange reason. My computer has decided to hide them from me. But the probiome that LifeVantage makes is exceptional. I've taken probiotics for probably seven years um, due to my reading about all the things that I should be taking for my cellular health and trying to get upstream of kind of everything that goes wrong. Um, and I did know that, you know, I had some gut issues, um, bloating at times, and I kept taking the probiotics and I would switch between this one and that one because I would read about one or the other being, you know, more beneficial, having different strains, and I would actually find myself going up and up and up and up in terms of the numbers of colony forming units. That's CFU. That means how many billions of these microbes that uh, form colonies that purportedly populate our gut are in there. And what, you know, what we're reading is you want more because you want them, there to be more of a chance for them to get where they're needed in the distal colon and the gut and the intestine. The problem is it doesn't really matter how many billions of colony forming units are in the capsule or in the liquid or in the powder because um, if they're swallowed, first of all, they're exposed to air. These are delicate micro, you know, microbes. They are killed if they're exposed to the air. It oxidizes them. You know, oxidation, it, you know, if it kills our free fatty acids in our bloodstream, it's certainly going to kill these, these delicate microbes. It doesn't matter if they're freeze dried. It doesn't matter if they're liquid. Um, capsules and refrigerated or not once they hit the air they're going to be damaged then if they survive the air maybe they're inside the middle of the capsule and they're not oxidized you swallow them they're going to get destroyed in the stomach in fact only about five percent of most of those um, commercially available probiotics you know the billions only four to six percent an average of five percent make it where they're needed and that's why when i was taking that many 
different varieties of probiotics, I never actually felt them working. I never could tell a difference in my bloating. I never could tell a difference. There's this um, kind of a funny little topic, but there's a stool chart called the Bristol stool chart. And you can grade st stools from how, uh, whether they're too, you know, you know, too hard, like, you know, on the one to two end of things, or they're too soft on the five and six end of things. And one and two indicates dehydration and five and six indicate inflammation. And I could never tell a difference in terms of where my, you know, experience was on the, on the scale. But when I started taking this one, everything kind of normalized into a three and four, which is ideal. And you can go look up on your, you know, on your own, the Bristol stool chart. It's, it's kind of entertaining <laughs> the way they describe it. But, you know, suffice it to say, it's good to have healthy BMs. And it's good to have consistent and regular BMs. I mean, your grandmother told you this, right? Well, when I started taking this probiotic, that's what happened. And there's a reason. This probiotic is vacuum sealed. Each capsule is, is a sphere. And it's actually two components that are sealed uh, vacuum vacuum sealed with the probiotics in it. They're protected from the air. They're not destroyed by the air. Then this capsule is is protected from the stomach acid. And once the stomach, you know, once the probiotic gets out of the acid environment, that's when it starts to to degrade and it's layered so that those that are the microbes, the, the specific strains of bacteria that are better suited to the proximal intestine, guess what? They're released first. <coughs> Excuse me. And those that are better suited to the distal colon are released last. So that's two, three advantages. It's vacuum sealed, it's protected from the stomach acid, and it's multi-layered so that, that it's time release getting the, the probiotics that are more suited to the proximal colon release first. Those that are better suited to the distal colon release last. The fourth thing that this has in it that really takes it completely over the top. You remember 85% or more of your immune system is in the gut. These pyrus patches, they are, they're, it's protecting our insides. Basically, our, our entire intestine is exposed to all of the toxins and, and whatnot, poisons in the environment. It's a tube <laughs> that just communicates between the front and the, the top and the bottom end. And it's our insides are on the outsides, right? So our immune system has to be very active there. And so this company actually was uh, had enough foresight to put a an immune boosting um, prebiotic in there, beta glucan. It's patented form of beta glucan called Wellmean. And there's lots of studies, peer reviewed published studies, showing that it reduces the incidence, severity, and duration of colds and flu. So having the Wellmean in there, supporting our most important immune system elements, um, having the proper amounts of microbes that actually get to where they're needed and where they're needed, you know, and it's just changed everything for, you know, my, excuse me, boys, I'm talking, my sons are in here, try to have a, a conference while your boys are, you know, killing um, things on battlegrounds right next to you is a little distracting. Sorry about that. But um, it's, it's changed everything and, and having a healthy, you know, GI system is really important as you know, the old saying goes, good health begins in the gut. So this is a fabulous, if you haven't tried it, if you're on the little yellow pill, you're on Protanum, you need to add ProBio, see where your health goes. It takes it to the next level. Absolutely. Thank you. ProBio with, um, with, Pro, uh, with uh, uh, NRF2 Protanum and NRF1 Protanum. And then again, we can even talk about leaky gut syndrome. And guess what? Again, back to the, back to the glutathione. Our proper microgut and our, pro, our flora, our healthy flora increases our glutathione. So, you know, it's a glu today's all glutathione scheme. And now, all to Dr. McKee to talk to us about brain drinks and brain food. <laughs> and, yes. also, and they also think the interesting thing, you know, I'm taking some time, but the creation of this axial was actually because of ultra marathoners, right? And, right. You're, like one, and you're like one of them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, I did forget to mention that our gut microbes not only are there to protect our immunity, they actually make these neurotransmitters. They make glutathione. They make you know, serotonin. 
They're so active. They're 100 to 1. We're 100 to 1 times more DNA that's microbial than we are human, which is in, incredible, but true. And um, speaking of neurotransmitters, our uh, former one of the former people that worked in our company was a very, very, very fit ultramarathoner, one of the world's uh, fittest CEOs, and he <laughs> did these long, crazy, crazy long races, like 100 mile races. And he tinkered in his lab, and he had all these, you know, he had a, a, a microbiology lab in his home, and he he would put different, you know, um, biohacking uh, formulations together to help him through these races. And one time he was running 100 miles, he was around 185 miles, and he went to take a capsule, <clears throat> and he dropped it on the ground. Of course, it was all muddy and sticky, and so he just emptied the capsule on his tongue and started running again. And he, all of a sudden, he realized, I've got focus, I've got energy, you know, and he finished the 100 miles the last 12 miles at the same speed he did the first 12 miles and he's kind of like well this is really a good brain drink you know or we could put this in a powder and, and mix it in and he, that's actually what i'm drinking tonight it's it's called axio and it really is a way to activate the brain's neurotransmitters it has precursors in there to some neurotransmitters helps um your acetylcholine precursors it's got magnesium um quercetin mantra pine bark extract and these are really good some of the ingredients are nerve two activators that are really geared to the brain and um you know kids with trouble focusing adults with fo trouble focusing use use this drink to kind of they call it a um, nootropic or a cognitive enhancer an executive function drink i have several a day usually i start my morning with a caffeinated one to help me get my workout done with extra oomph <laughs> and um in the afternoon just to keep myself focused and on task i have a decaf sometimes more than you know one in the morning and sometimes more than one in the afternoon and um i love it. it it really puts me in a good mood helps me stay focused if i'm taking a long trip i use it it's a really good way to biohack your brain and um i find that when you use it regularly and consistently you know um you, you can get more out of yourself and moms are finding that they get more out their kids get more out of themselves they're able to concentrate more in school, they're getting better grades, their handwriting turns neater, <laughs> they maybe have fewer behavior problems in school, and um, you know, just a happy brain works better. And this is a great way to uh, make the brain happy by increasing its, um, its neurotransmitters and activating the nerve 2 pathway within the brain. Awesome, thank you. So, plus it tastes good, oh, and yes. you, know, you were so right about kids. <laughs> You know, I keep, you know, I keep warning the parents that sort of start getting the products and stuff. I said, people, hide it away from kids because you will never see Axio again. That's right. Hey, my kids, my, when my friend, their kids, their, my kids' friends come over, they're just like, you know, they love it. And um, then their moms are calling me on, you know, what's this stuff? Right. what's the stuff you know like <laughs> what do we do with you? yeah it's exactly the same thing so would you now uh, being a brain radiologist can you please tell us about the importance of this essential fatty acids these omegas why is it so important for the brain fluidity well absolutely our, our um the membranes of our the membranes of our mitochondria the membranes of our cells especially the brain is 70 percent fat and these lipid bilayers they're made up of omega-3s and omega-6s the problem is our diet these are fatty acids our diets in the American, they call it standard American diet, SAD diet, or the modern American diet, the MAD diet, either one of those words, ought to give you an indication of how really unhealthy these, these uh, eating habits are. They're full of omega-6s. And the end result of, um, of metabolizing these omega-6s, stuff called arachidonic acid, it's very, very inflammatory. And um, the omega-6s and omega-3s compete for... Um, metabolism and they actually fight each other and if there's not an even amount or more actually four to one is the ideal ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s uh, one to one is is would be you know better than what we are in the american diet today we're going to be diverting everything toward the inflammatory pathway unless we increase the omega-3s to try to balance that out and to um you know get our get our membranes functioning the way they should be um, the problem with most omega-3s on the market is they come from fish. 
oils and the, the best omega-3s come from fish oils, um, fatty fish that swim in cold water. The problem is most fish oils are processed and exposed to oxygen. As we've discussed, oxygen oxidizes. And so the reason that most fish oils taste terrible is because you're, what you're tasting is rancid oil. You're tasting essentially rotten fish. And when you ingest rancid oils in your body, that causes oxidation. In fact, the same study in the National Institute on Aging did, funded by the NIH, that showed protandum extended healthy median lifespan in the mammal model of longevity, found that the fish oil shortened the lifespan. And that is because that fish oil was oxidized. The fish oil production that um, LifeVantage has brought into us through Omega Plus is very unique because it's actually it's actually molecularly distilled in the absence of oxygen in inert gases. So it is the most protected from oxidation on the market. I think it's got like, you know, single digit exposure to oxygen. So fresh that you can literally put the capsule in your mouth, chew it up, and it tastes great. You know, Dr. Gordon takes 12 at a time, never burps fish. And, you know, I've uh, literally chewed the capsule and it's, it's delicious. So when you take an omega-3, it's very, very important to make sure that it's not oxidized and you're not defeating the purpose of taking it. The other thing that our omega has in it is something called palmitoleic acid that's very important in lipid metabolism. It's a signaling molecule that helps balance the, the interaction between fats and muscles and very important in proper metabolism and maintaining healthy weight. And another great thing, you know, cod liver oil, we always hear about cod liver oil being good for vitamin D. Well, this has 800 milligrams of vitamin D in three, uh, or 800 units, excuse me, of vitamin D in um, three capsules. If you take more than that, you're going to get more vitamin D. So where most of us are deficient in vitamin D. So having enough vitamin D is something, you know, we all struggle with. And this is a great way to get some extra vitamin D in your body, and along with the healthy omega-3s and palmosolaic omega-7s. So I love this fish oil product. This, this Ab oil. Absolutely. So guys, the bottom line is what we covered now. Thank you. Thank you, amazing Dr. McKee. So what we covered now, I believe, you know, please, guys, eat your nutrient-dense foods. And you just heard Dr. McKee that, yes, she actually exercises every day. She works out. So breathe oxygen, do yoga, stay happy, eat right. But what we discovered and what we covered, I hope, is what I call essential supplementation. Essential means a must supplementation. We need NRF to activation. We need NRF1 act. We need healthy mitochondria. We must have a proper microgut. You know, we need to have those fluid omegas. Absolutely. You know, Dr. Dr. McGee said, like, like, you know, the standard American diet, one to one, six is two, two, two six is two, three. I probably will even disagree with this. I think six absolutely are hype, hypens you know, on hypes, the omega-3s, and having our combination is so essential for that pattern of health. Now, when we talk about proper supplementation, essential supplementation, guys, you need to understand, and Dr. McGee told you that she's going to be on Pratana for the rest of, your li for the rest of her life. Well, join the club. Because if you want yourselves happy and healthy, you can't pop it in for a day and forget it for the next three days, and then pop it for a week, and then forget it for another week. No, this is day after day after day. And if you want to recover yourselves, look at this slide. You want your healthy brain, you need to upregulate your healthy brain at least for a year. That is from this small injury. And you know, and you know, the cellular regeneration for every organ is different, for every system is different. So that's why that's why I think we're so adamant um, uh, about our essential supplementation. Be very, very careful, be, be very, very knowledgeable, be, be very diligent about what you put in your body. You don't need vitamin A's because you, need, you can eat them. You know, yes, in summertime, go get your vitamin D. But even if you go under the sun, let's say in Alberta, Canada, how much of a vitamin D you're getting? So you need supplementation. 
Vitamin D deficiency linked to multiple sclerosis, amongst others. You know, you need your omega-3s. You need your membranes. You need your cells to be plastic. They have to be very, they cannot be rigid. Rigid cells, bad cells. You need your omega-3s, omega-6s, and omega-7s. Very, very important. I just read today about omega-7s and the heart health. So you got the idea. So now, guys, I'm going to open the floor uh, to the questions. So please uh, type the question. I'm going to stop sharing. Uh, and then also, I would cordially invite you to tomorrow. I'm actually going to do the... Today, hopefully, we enlighten you in the science and the products. So tomorrow, 8 p.m. the same time, I'm doing the opportunity presentation with one of the most passionate guys I've ever met, genuinely. Now, and you just need to hear the story of his son, of his autistic child. And that's why Josh started doing Life Vantage business. So I cordially invite you. The Zoom ID is exactly the same as today. So now let's get back. Thank you very much to every one of you for participation. And we have a few minutes for the questions. Oh, please mute yourself. Goodness. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, so, 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 what are the side effects of Axial? Sean? Well, I mean, if you took too many of the caffeinated Axio, each of the caffeinated Axio has 100 milligrams of caffeine. You know, you don't want to have more than, certainly more than four, um, probably more than two or three taken in close succession would be a, a lot of caffeine to take at once. So that could be an increased heart rate, um, jittery, jitteriness. But generally, um, with the decaf one, there's only 12 milligrams of caffeine in the decaf one. So there are no... Um, typical side effects with that, you know, there are some people that are sensitive to the niacin in it. Um, and niacin can cause something called a uh, niacin flush is a temporary um, increase in subcutaneous circulation, which can make, you know, re your skin red, typically on the chest, neck and face. Um, very harmless, temporary. Uh, and generally, people become accustomed to it after a couple of days. And so you won't experience it um, other than the first couple of times. Most people don't have that happen, but it can be kind of concerning if you, you know, have it for the first time. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, look like a lobster. But, I had um, niacin flash. Pardon? I had niacin flash. Did you? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, you've got like, you know, like, you know, like, um, I probably in my previous life, I was oriental with that uh, enzyme. Like, yes. you know, when you drink red wine and you become red. Right. So uh, same thing happened. It just it just it just goes away. So don't be alarmed and look it up. It's called nice and flush. Um, now can um, now uh, um, Jennifer asked the question. Thoughts about BRCA gene? BRCA gene is a hereditary breast cancer gene, and how the products possibly help. So there's one thing about BRCA and NRF2. Um, uh, mutated BRCA gene has a usually um, a very low NRF2 activation. So that's, that's how it is. And um, I think there is one study on cell lines about BRCA, uh, breast cancer cell lines and NRF2 per tandem. Obviously on cell line, um, it worked very well. Uh, I did a literature search and in, um, BRCA or hereditary breast cancers, NRF2 is depressed. So just connect the dots. Uh, where can I find a list of microbiome uh, provided by Probias on the ingredient list on the label? Uh, one of my clients get mucus when taking Axio. Why is that? Sorry, Dr. McGee, I have no clue. Yeah, I know. Normally, I mean, well, one of the ingredients is um, Axio is stevia. It's a natural sweetener that actually has been shown to break up micro, you know, microfilm or, or biofilm. So, um, you know, maybe she might be allergic to one of the natural flavors. I don't know. Um, but uh, it could be just an individual, um, what do you call it, a unique, unique experience. But I haven't heard that. Well, well, I'm, I'm sure it probably will go away. I think it may be just temporarily, but see, 
what is the reason to take more than three omegas plus all at once? Um, I think the dosage, uh, probably good question to ask Dr. Natalie Chavro. Well, Dr. Gordon um, has a great, um, he has a paper that he quotes that talks about the omega index of a red blood cell. And if you have over 12, uh, or sorry, under four is very, very at risk for a heart attack or you know, myocardial event. And between four and eight, I believe is moderate. And then above eight um, is very protective, 90% less risk for a cardiac event. So he takes 12 to try to get his omega index up there. Well, and I think it's very safe actually for the dosages of omega three, six, seven, and the only probably concern will be vitamin D, but I don't think we can overdose on vitamin D, taking as many uh, omegas. Um, you pr probably, in order to overdose vitamin D, you need to obtain probably over 40 to 50,000 uh, international units. And I don't think it's possible unless somebody is eating bottles. Right. If you eat a whole bottle, you might get that much, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like 2400 if you take 12 a day, I think. Uh, um, different different flavors or different combinations of Axior are for Canada or in reformulation because uh, basically every flavor of Axior is available for Canada just on American website. Uh, so it's in the formulation. Um, it needs to be tweaked to Canadian health um, according to Canada Health. So it will take time. It's not life vantage priority. Life vantage priority is NRF1, NRF2, uh, omegas, and this kind of stuff. Uh, so it will come eventually. Uh, have you heard of pretendum reducing the effects of birth control resulting in pregnancy? Hello, Dr. McGee. No, I have not. I have, uh, I have heard of, of reducing oxidative stress, improving fertility. Okay. Um, Yep. So I've, I've definitely had had some people that had some surprise pregnancies, but not to my knowledge, they were not on birth control. Um, exactly. Anybody I've heard who conceived on pretanum, nothing worked. Nothing worked. Reducing oxidative stress worked. Um, but the thing is, I don't know how pretanum actually can reduce the effects of birth control. Maybe somebody just forgot to take a couple pills. <laughs> okay guys uh, no more questions and uh, we're we're on an hour mark we just did amazing dr mcgee thank you so much guys whoever is coming to indianapolis this week travel safe and whoever not we'll see you next time uh hopefully next monday next monday there will be another lecture i just haven't found a victim uh, <laughs> With an MD behind the last name, uh, I'm sure it will be coming. And um, we can find him in Indianapolis. So. Oh, totally, totally, absolutely. Uh, and uh, I will see you. Hopefully, guys, we'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Same time, same link. Oh, see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.